This is an Emerson model LE220EM3 22 inch LED television and it's broken. It's not working at all. No power light, nothing. Completely dead. We're going to open it up and see if we can figure out why. Because it's an LED TV, it's quite thin. There's a number of screws we have to take off the back. It's really this piece here we have to take off. We don't need to take all this stuff off. It's just this middle part. So it's like screws here, 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 here. Those are the ones we have to take off. And that should also remove the stand as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, we've got those screws all loosened. Off comes the back. The power cord has to be connect disconnected. And the speaker cable disconnected. Now we're going to remove the power supply board and get a closer look, see if we can figure out why nothing's working. Have a couple cables to disconnect and a couple one, two, three screws, two cables. Okay, we have all that disconnected. The power supply board comes out in our hand. Well, the first thing we pick up on right away is the fuse is blown. But why is the fuse blown? Fuses don't normally blow for no reason. So let's see if we can find what caused that to happen. Well, checking around on the board with our ohm meter, we soon discover that there's a short circuit in this transistor right here. This is a Toshiba TK5A50D uh, MOSFET. This transistor is what's driving that big uh, transformer. This is your typical switching type power supply. This is the hot side here. This is the cold side here, separated by that transformer. Something's got to drive that transformer. That's It's that big uh, transistor right there. So is that all that's wrong? Poking around with the ohmmeter some more. We find on the flip side, we've got a shorted diode right here, D653. This is an annotated image of the power supply board, which shows better the location of fuse 601 and transistor 601. The fuse is 4 amp. Here's another annotated image. This is the reverse side of that same board. It shows where the uh, pins are soldered in for transistor 601 and it also shows the location of diode 653 and that diode is a Schottky barrier diode number SK2B. Now here's the data sheet on that uh, Toshiba TK5A50D uh, transistor. It is a MOSFET with a, it's a MOSFET with a damper diode. Here's the data sheet on our SK2B diode. It is a Schottky barrier diode. There's a whole family of them from this EIT company. This is ours, the SK2B. Uh, maximum peak reverse voltage, 100 volts. Okay, so that's what we need to get. We need to get that Toshiba transistor, we need to get one of these diodes, and we need to replace that fuse. So uh, it appears that the diode shorted on the cold side, the diode shorted, that in turn overloaded. the uh, transistor on the hot side and shorted it, which in turn caused the fuse to blow. I've gone ahead and replaced the transistor and the fuse and the diode. Okay, we're going to put it back into the TV set and see how it does. Okay, we're now going to put our board back in the monitor. Test it out. These connectors are just basically push, push in. And the power connector. 
and then three screws here, here, and here. We will now put the back on the TV set. Now, you got four fine thread screws and six coarse thread screws. If you can't remember, the fine threads go here, 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 and here. One, two, three, four. These others, one, two, three, four, five, six, those are the coarse threads. Okay, I'll now put all of those in. Okay, we've got it all snapped back together again, and I've connected it to AC power and a video source. And already we have a good sign. We've got a red power light. And let's see. Aha, that looks good. Yes, it works. Good. So it was the diode, the transistor, and the fuse. The reason that I made this video is because I got two of these television sets in a row. The Emerson LE220EM2. Both of them were bad and both of them had failed in exactly the same way. F601, Q601, and D653. So I have to assume that this is a common failure. Two in a row with exactly the same fail. Therefore, if you have this same model of television set and it is not working, there's a good chance that this is the failure you have as well. So if you've got this TV and it isn't working, first thing to do is open it up and check that fuse. If the fuse is blown, and look for shorts in transistor Q601 and diode 653. Okay, that's it.